welcome back to my channel. Today I am covering a very requested topic, a very requested video, celery juice. It's everywhere, everyone's doing it. You look, you see people juicing celery, celery emojis, like it's ever, there's no emoji, but like gifts, whatever, celery is all the rage right now. I've gotten on the bandwagon twice now, so it's the perfect time for me to film my video on what I think about it, educate you guys on what the whole craze is about, what the research behind it is, um, and give you my opinion because I've done it. So that's what I'm gonna do in this for video. For anyone wondering, like, where did this come from? Why all of a sudden is everyone juicing celery? Like, why is this the new hot vegetable? The guy named Anthony Williams, he is also known as the medical medium. I read some of his books and the way it works is that he is not a doctor, he's not a naturopath, not any of these things. He's like a health medium. So basically the way that it works is that spirit, he says the spirit or spirit tells him about these different things that foods can do for you and then he shares it. So if you look into him, you know, for a lot of people they're like, are you really, like really? A spirit tells him that celery is amazing and then it works. Kind of something where you're like skeptical. But a lot of people are claiming to have incredible, incredible results from this. So I was like, I gotta do this for myself. I gotta see what this is all about. I'm here today because I'm gonna tell you what I really think about it now that I've done it twice. I'm gonna educate you on why celery is good. Um, and I'm also gonna show you guys the two different ways that you can make it. Some of the frequently asked questions that I've been receiving about celery juice in this video. One, before we get into anything, if you are gonna do this, and if you are gonna consume celery, please make sure it's organic. It is on the list of the Dirty Dozen, so if you are going to try this celery juice thing, if you're gonna eat celery, make sure it's organic, number one. Celery is extremely anti-inflammatory in the body. It basically starves unproductive yeast, bacteria, mold, fungus, shit that our body doesn't want. It starves it, so it doesn't allow it to thrive. Because when you eat like sugars and GMO foods and a lot of processed foods, it actually feeds these unproductive molds, bacteria, etc. Because celery is really anti-inflammatory, because celery is really detoxifying, it actually really helps flush out toxins, flush out these bad things, pathogens and stuff in your body, and get rid of it. Another thing that celery does and celery juice does, and I am gonna get into sort of the difference between eating it, blending it, and juicing it shortly. It contains enzymes and coenzymes that basically raise the hydrochloric acid in your stomach. Hydrochloric acid in your stomach really helps break down foods, it aids with digestion, and so having extra of it is amazing because it's breaking down these foods better, therefore you feel better after. A lot of people suffer from a lot of digestive issues. The celery is definitely something that will help you out because the natural salts in it has natural salts, minerals, all things are going to help the enzymes and the coenzymes in your body break down the foods better. Another thing that medical medium really claims, and it makes perfect sense, is that celery really, really helps with neurological function and it makes perfect sense because celery is very very high in minerals minerals really do help our neurological system work better which is why so often when people tell me that they suffer from anxiety or you know mood disorders I'm like well do you get enough minerals in your diet do you supplement magnesium are you getting selenium so celery contains a lot of these amazing minerals and by drinking 16 ounces of celery juice a day you're obviously naturally getting a ton of minerals that if you weren't drinking it you probably wouldn't be getting and if you're not supplementing those things then you wouldn't be getting so celery is very mineral dense and because of that it does help with neurological function it helps with things like memory loss brain fog adhd and all of those things not necessarily just about the celery it's the fact that celery contains a high amount of these minerals and these minerals help with the neurological function in your just body basically google on the internet like benefits of celery you're gonna get a ton of things but but what it really comes down to is the fact that celery is extremely detoxifying it really helps raise the hydrochloric acid in your stomach aka it helps with digestion and it's filled with amazing vitamins and minerals that really do help and improve your neurological function that is all just basic celery fact now before i get into my experience with it and everything let's discuss juicing versus blending versus eating the amount of people that would write to me and say you're juicing celery, can I just eat a lot of celery? Can I just blend a lot of celery? Can I throw it into a smoothie? Here is really the difference between juicing and blending. And it doesn't just go for celery juice, this goes for any juice. So if you make green juices or if you buy green juices and you're wondering, well, why don't I just put it into smoothies? 
One is not necessarily better than the other. They do different things. Quite simply, if you're blending it or eating it, you're getting the pulp and you're getting the fiber. And when you're juicing it, you're really just getting the juice. The reason why celery juice is a thing and why juicing is a thing in the first place is because you're removing the digestion aspect out of the equation. So instead of your body having to work hard to digest all the fibers and the pulp, really just getting the concentrated vitamins and nutrients directly to your cells, really really quickly so instead of it going through this whole process in your body it's just like bang nutrient it's pretty much what juicing it it's a faster absorption of nutrient feeds cells instantly it's a lot easier on your digestive system and let's not get it twisted fiber in vegetables and fruits is super important in the case of juicing and the point of juice is that you really just want to get this big dose of vitamins nutrients minerals really quickly absorbed to the body and be able to move on and i'm going to obviously show you guys how i do the juice and the way i make it but for me in about 16 ounces of celery juice which is two cups it's a huge stock of celery pretty much if not more Imagine if I had to sit and eat that. You'd be getting this huge bulky vegetable. I'd be so full. I wouldn't be able to eat a full stock of celery. I'd want to like die. So imagine that when you're juicing it and you're just drinking it, you're literally getting this like huge stock of celery. You're getting all the vitamins, all the nutrients, all the minerals, but without all the fiber and it's just easily absorbed. So think of it that way. Like when people really want to understand why can't I just eat it? Well, could you eat a full stock of celery? Probably because... So now I'm gonna show you how I make my celery juice. First of all, celery. Organic celery is very important because it's filled with pesticides. You wanna make sure that you're getting it organic or just don't get it at all. For every 16 ounces of celery juice, I think that one good stock of celery will do. It's like a pretty big, nice stock of celery. If it's smaller, sometimes you get them like smaller, not as juicy, maybe you'll need two. But for the most part, I find that this will make about 16 ounces of celery it's like this is really like just for you to see imagine if you had to eat all of this celery you wouldn't make it through probably this much before you were like full and kind of fed up with celery so that is why juicing is so amazing because you're getting all the nutrients all the vitamins all the minerals that is in this much celery in one sitting so now what i'll do is i'll take apple cider vinegar any will do that has the mother in it and i will just Pour about a tablespoon over it. I just cover it with some cold water, and I do this, by the way, with all of my vegetables to clean them um, and get off any dirt or residue or bugs or anything, because organic vegetables, you'll find bugs sometimes and dirt. Um, and I'll just let this sit here for about five minutes before I juice it. You see how that's turning? That is what's gonna break up the sun. The fiber is coming out this side and here on this side we have juice. Fresh celery juice, baby. And I like to do it slow because celery is super fibrous, so it can get stuck in. So you want to go slow with it. Okay, so all done. Fresh celery juice right here. This was a juicy, these were juicy stalks. And then this is the fiber that comes out on the other side. I like to use Myron glass jars. Uh, to store my celery juice. Iron glass is an ultraviolet glass. It's like you can't really see but it's really blue um, And it doesn't allow things to oxidize. So I immediately will take my celery juice pour it into My Myron glass like a 16 ounce bottle. I close this up and then what I do is I date it So that I know when I made it because it will last now for 72 hours. I put the date on the top and I know when I made it so many people ask me questions about these jars. I will link it in the description on this Main video. types of juicers. There is a centrifugal juicer, which is what you really see more often. They are the cheaper ones, things like the Braville. It basically has like a contraption in the middle. You put your juice in and it just comes out and it's done. They're faster juicers. You get a lot, 
you get a lot of liquid out of your vegetable and you really really want to just drink those juices if you're using a centrifugal juicer i highly suggest that you drink it within 20 minutes after 20 minutes it starts to oxidize you're no longer getting the nutrients and the benefits so if you are using a centrifugal juicer Drink it right away. No, you cannot make it the night before. No, you cannot store it in your fridge and do it the night before. You gotta juice, drink it, and go about your day. Then we have masticating juicers. Masticating juicer is basically a slow juicer. This is the type of juicer that medical medium suggests. This is the type of juicer that I use. In my own home, I will be using the Hurum Slow Juicer. Basically the way that it works and the reason why it holds on to nutrients better and the reason why it's better for you is because it is a slower juicer. There is not nearly as much heat because it's going slower. It's like grinding at the vegetable. And because there is no heat that is really coming off of the nutrients, the vitamins, the nutrients, the minerals are all really staying within the juice. I store my juices in my iron glass jar. UV protected glass that does not allow things to oxidize it. But if you see oils or certain beauty products and they're in these dark ultraviolet glasses it's because it does not allow what's inside to oxidize so i keep my celery juice for up to 72 hours it stays really really great it works and i do the same thing with my green juices into the juicers thing i get asked a ton is can i just blend it yes you can blend celery my suggestion is if you're someone who listen i'm someone who has always been into juicing it's been literally seven eight years that i've been juicing so juicing is a big part of my life i have a green juice every single day but if you are someone who is not into juicing yet if it's new to you don't go out and invest in a juicer just do it the blending way and then if you see that it's something you're sticking to it's something you're really liking go and get a juicer because juicers are really expensive Okay, so I've shown you how I juice it. Now I'm going to show you how I do it with a blender. So I use a Vitamix high speed blender. Honestly, any blender will do. When I was in the Dominican, I was doing this with like the most old school, like Black and Decker uh, blender. So any blender will really do. Basically, just clean the celery with apple cider vinegar. You have it all ready to go. You want to throw it into the blender. You don't want to overdo it because you don't want to like back up your blender. You can do it in two batches. So I'll put about this much. And then I'll just put like half a cup of water um, so that this works properly and blends well. Cover it up. Okay, so now I have my nut milk bag. I'm basically gonna do this the same way that I do my almond milk or any nut milk. So I take this bag and I will link this bag in the description on this video. It is a, basically it's called a produce bag. I'm gonna take a little like bag clip just clip it here onto the side and I'm just gonna pour it through the nut milk bag and we're basically for all intents and purposes juicing it because you're taking basically what this bag does is it removes the fiber from the juice and separates the two basically keep pulling all the juice out of course this is going to be a little bit less green than the juiced version because I did add a little bit of water to it you still get the same effect here you have the pulp and here you have the juice, and then you wanna just drink it right away. I just transfer this into the glass, and voila, you have celery juice done in a blender. Something I wanna mention, and that is really important to mention, is that there is no harm in doing celery juice. Celery juice is not gonna kill you. Um, the worst thing that happens is nothing happens, and you just had some celery juice every morning. Like, it's really not a big deal. Something that I genuinely believe is that it should not be done in longer increments than 30 days. Of course, if you have a chronic illness or if you have some sort of you know issue, health issue that you're really trying to fix, that's another story. But if you're in good health, you take pretty good care of yourself, I think 30 days is more than enough. I don't think that it's really good to be detoxing your body so much. Um, I think it's hard on the system. You're making your system work really hard when your system's supposed to detox itself naturally. Initially, when I started doing this, I had gone through a really rough summer. Um, I had done IVF, I had done a bunch of hormones, and then I suffered an ectopic pregnancy where I had to do two doses of methotrexate, which is like chemo. If you guys have not heard my whole story, you should go watch my fertility video. So when all of this ended for me, I was like, I really want to clean up my body. I wasn't feeling great, obviously. And, and still, I was almost like 11 weeks pregnant between everything I went through. It was very traumatizing. and. And long story short, I wanted to cleanse out my body. So I decided this is a great time for me to try this new craze that everyone's talking about, celery juice. I began doing it in October. I did it for almost 60 days. First three to four weeks, I was so uncomfortably bloated. Like my stomach was 
huge. I was uncomfortable. It it hurt. Like I'm a little bit bloated. Like I was uncomfortably bloated. I literally was in pain. Oh, so this is something that they say can happen, especially if you have a lot to clean up inside. And so I just figured my body's really detoxing. My body, no pun intended, is cleaning all the shit out. And you know, I figured eventually I, I was starting to feel better, but I didn't know if it was from the celery juice. I didn't know if it's because my body was going back into balance and getting back to normal after everything I had been through. So it was really hard for me to gauge really how I felt. Early December, I went to Florida for Chris's birthday. I went there, I didn't have access to celery juice, so I didn't do it. I honestly felt so much better. I felt thinner. I felt better about myself. I was like, I don't want to do celery juice anymore. It's, it, it just makes me feel so bloated. Even after the whole really bad bloating of the first month, I was super gassy, like way more gassy than usual and like uncomfortably gassy. And again, like I wasn't as bloated as I was in the first month, the second month, but like I was still pretty bloated and it was like uncomfortable. So as of the beginning of December, I decided to take a break from the celery juice. I was feeling really good without it. I stayed off of it for a good like five, six weeks. Back from Miami the second time when I went over Christmas, on January 5th, I did it for 30 days. And the reason why I did it a second time was because this time around, my body was starting to feel a bit more normal. I knew that I was a little more back in balance. I didn't, it wasn't fresh. Like I didn't just freshly have all these hormones and methotrexate in my system. So I was like, now is a better time for me, feeling healthy, feeling good again, um, to really see what the celery juice is all about. So I just did it for the past 30 days. First day I was a bit bloated and then beyond that I wasn't bloated at all. Probably because, you know, I'm pretty healthy and there was not much to clean out with you. You know, I think a lot of people who do it feel amazing, but I don't know if they actually feel amazing or is it because you think you're supposed to feel amazing? Like, is it this placebo effect where, you know, everyone's like, oh my God, it changed my life. Oh my God, it this, that. I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm a pretty healthy girl. You know, I eat really, really well. I don't have many health issues. And I don't find that it made a really big difference for me. I don't. You know, yeah, my skin looks really good, but my skin looks good because I've been doing this carbon laser peel situation. I take really good care of my skin. On, I eat, you know, really great organic vegetables and produce and meats. And, you know, I'm very aware of what I'm putting into my body. So my skin looks good, not from celery juice, but from everything that I do. Um, eczema, my eczema actually came back. It was away and it came back. So celery juice is supposed to heal your psoriasis and eczema. It didn't for me. That's the honest truth, it didn't. Um, do I think it's a hoax? Absolutely not. I, but I do think that there are a lot of people who don't necessarily live the kind of life that I live, who aren't as aware of the things they put into their body. They decide to go do celery juice. They're now having 16 ounces of celery juice every morning, which is very often more nutrients and more vitamins and nutrients than they've ever had. So of course it's gonna make you feel amazing. So I think you need to gauge when understanding what it does for you, what that person's lifestyle was before the celery juice. Were they unhealthy? Do they eat a lot of packaged foods and refined sugars and gluten and all that stuff? Or are they like relatively super healthy and then all of a sudden they just, you know, reach this next level of like feeling really great. I'm that relatively healthy, healthy person and to be honest with you, I didn't feel that next level of feeling great. I didn't feel anything wrong from it. I enjoyed doing it, but I wasn't like, oh my God, this is like the end all be all because that's not how I felt. I, I just, I genuinely think that it's a bit of a detox. I think it does probably clean out your system a little bit, um, but in terms of it being a miracle juice, maybe, listen, if you have a chronic illness or if you have something where you know, if you have a lot of anxiety or whatever, maybe it is something that can be a miracle for you, but you gotta look into it and wonder, is it just the fact that you're a little bit mineral deficient and now all of a sudden you're getting those minerals? Like, I think that there's a little bit more to it than the fact that it's just celery juice. I think that sometimes you need to look into each case by case situation and wonder, what was that person eating or doing before the celery juice? And is it just the fact that they're now getting these vitamins and minerals and nutrients that they weren't getting before? So of course, their skin's gonna be glowier, or they're gonna feel better. Or are you like me and you're already pretty healthy and you're already getting the vitamins and minerals and nutrients that you kinda need, but didn't really make a big difference for you? I already do a green juice every day where I put parsley, cilantro, kale, celery, cucumber, ginger, turmeric, and lemon. All of those things are detoxifying. All of those things are really high in chlorophyll and all have their own amazing nutritional components. So for me, the celery didn't do that much. That's the honest truth. I wish that I could sit here and be like, it's the best thing ever. I think it's fine. I think it's great. I think that there's no, again, like I said, no harm in doing it, but I don't think it is the miracle juice 
for everyone. I don't think that it's something that people should be doing for longer than 30 day increments in which they're detoxing their body because I just don't think that your body should constantly be in such a detox mode. I think that that's a lot of work on your body. I think that your body's supposed to detox itself normally as it. A little tip that I would give anyone who's wanting to try this out, start a little bit slow. When I started, I started with 16 ounces right away and it was very hard on my system. I would start by doing four ounces for like three, four days, eight ounces for three, four days, 12 ounces for three, four days, and then get to your 16. Work your way up for a period of two weeks to the 16 ounces because it is really hard on your stomach. You especially if you're not someone who's like overly healthy, it might, you know, really, really bloat you and make you uncomfortable. So I think starting slow is really a good idea to see how it goes for you. There are side effects like that you can have diarrhea and you can have a lot of gas and bloating and all these things. For any additional info on celery juice, you can obviously look up Medical Medium. He is the originator of this movement. It is a movement. Um, I think that in the next year, there'll be another movement, just like there always is. If you want any more information on celery, feel I haven't covered beyond my own thoughts, you should go check out Medical Medium and see what he's Something that's important for me to mention about Medical Medium that I really do like is that I like that he is not selling a pill, he's not selling a powder, he's not selling anything except for the fact that he believes that fruits and vegetables can heal you and I agree with him. In terms of his approach, I agree with that. I like that he's not selling anything other than what nature can already give you. So those are my thoughts on celery juice. I hope I've answered any of your questions. If you guys have any follow-up questions after watching this video, feel free to leave a comment down below. I'm happy to answer. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I will see you guys next week.